Hey, what's up guys, Poncho Cortez, and I'm bringing to you the official final review of 2017. Now the pomade I'm gonna be reviewing today is one that got a super limited release. It was only out for like two days and it had a certain number of them made. And I'm referring to the Mai Tai Madness pomade that came out from Classics Pomade Company in Chicago. So this is the Mai Tai Tiki Head uh, pomade that had come out, I would like to say around June, July, during the summer, and it was only out for two days, and I managed to get my hands on it. And the reason I'm reviewing it is just because of the fact that this was actually one of my favorite light oil-based pomades. Now the big selling point for this pomade was the fact that it smells very sweet, it's got a Mai Tai esque scent and on top of that it's just ideal for the summer. Me being the tiki lover I am I decided to get my hands on it. So as you can see this is it. The cover art is not too bad. It's a bit creative. There aren't too many tiki pomades out there. I think there's like one other that's made but tiki pomades aren't made as often. When you open it up here it is. Ingredients list on the back as well as instructions on what to do on how to wipe off pomade. But here it is. It's got a white color. This is an oil-based pomade that has petroleum in it, so it is a little bit tougher to get out, but nonetheless, just some, just some conditioner and shampoo ought to do the trick, especially since this is a lighter grip. Now, the scent, as I told you guys, this is actually one of those pomades that had one of the best scents ever. I have to say, it had definitely a cherry, coconut blend to it. I liked it. It was something that isn't done very often, especially in a men's type of pomade. It does get promised the tropical scent and I enjoyed it for that aspect. Now, as far as application on this thing went, it was easier to scoop out. It wasn't too bad, you know, with some harder oil-based pomades. You have to scoop it out and when you do that it's almost impossible and so you have to heat it up with the blow dryer that wasn't the case with this at all since it's a lighter grip it was super easy and it wasn't too bad and honestly i think a lighter grip was much more ideal for the summertime because since it's super hot it easily melts your hair so it's a it's pointless to have a hard strong oil-based pomade in your hair because it'll be just more much more difficult to get out and with the lighter it's super easy with this pomade you can't really be doing pompadours with them unfortunately or really a slick back if you have the kind of hair that I do or others do where it splits right in the middle. This doesn't tame that at all, but rather this is meant more for hairstyles that can overlap one another. In this case, it's just the regular side part. Now as you can see, I did get a pretty clean looking side part. With an oil base, you get a high sheen. You get that with this. <laughs> I get the comb lines in, it wasn't too hard working with. When I applied it in my hair, I got little to no tug and pull. It was the same thing when I combed it. I combed it super easy, it wasn't that hard. I just used the regular combs I've used in the past and the process wasn't too bad. I'd recommend though when applying this pomade, well if you guys, if you guys ever get the chance to get your hands on this, because like I said, they don't make it anymore, so if you do, like I said, if you do get your, definitely apply it in your hair while it's dry because if you apply it while it's wet, you're gonna get a lot more resistance for it and it's just gonna be tougher on you, so just do it while it's bone dry. As far as the durability goes in this pomade, it's not too bad. I did have to comb it just to get it back in shape a couple times here and there, uh, especially with this side of my hair. You know, you get a little bit of loose hairs. Honestly, just keep a comb on you, make sure it's the regular fine tooth comb it back together and it'll be fine. It doesn't get destroyed too easily. So just as a final recap, back in 2017, this pomade was made and I have to say this is one of my personal favorites right here. This is one that is a go-to. If I'm gonna be wearing, you know, just a regular bowling shirt or just be going casual, this is my go-to pomade right here. Thanks for watching guys. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,